So yeah, I went to go walk my dogs. I put a video up. I know that probably messed up some of you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys got all messed up there. Uh, you can finish the video on YouTube. But that was just a video. And this is me. Or is this a video too? Uh, let me pause this video. Well, guys, can you imagine if I had like 20,000? Okay, that would be amazing if I could do that. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna, after the stream, I'm gonna make all these frames and you can see them like I'm taking off a video, but that's gonna be a video. I'm gonna mindfuck all of you guys. So we can remove a card, max HP, or transform two cards. Let's see the path. So, you guys can tell it's not a video because you guys can see your chat in the thing. I mean, technically that could be an overlay on a video. Alright. It's live. Alright, it's live. Just trust me. I'm gonna go for the RNG. Transform two cards. Let's go. Double ray or double whammy? Okay. Can't say hi. So we have Phantasmal Killer. That's a card. I actually like Phantasmal Killer, man. I think if you get Phantasmal Killer early by force because of transforming, then you can actually do some work with it. Like there, I do transform. Do it again. Like every turn, I have double damage. No, but it, what we can do is like you can draft while they plant, which you're probably gonna draft regardless. But I could not plan this. And with well laid plans, as I was saying, a lot of good things could happen. I'm gonna take this curse. Hopefully this next event is removal. Oh, can you imagine if that was removal? Okay, we're gonna remove here. Oh, membership card would be so sick. Anchor would have been sick. It feels kind of bad, actually, using my member on a doubt. I'm gonna do slice. Because Slice is a zero cost attack that could be doubled, potentially. Or it's an attack that I can play alongside Phantasmal. Since Phantasmal is kind of expensive. Yeah, you hey, Eric, take care, man. Hey, and sleep well. Yeah, we're going to be doing it literally after this run, but I know you got to go to bed, man. I understand. Sleep tight, buddy. You can catch the VOD. Should catch the vibe. Because we're doing right after this run. It's man, yeah, I understand, man. Okay, so so far. Alright, so we got slice again or backflip. Um I think Slice and After Image work pretty well together, and this Agony as well. Also with Phantasmal Killer and this Agony could be kind of cool. I still think the back might be better. Screw an Endless Agony. Now there's a few things I want to do. I want to upgrade Phantasmal so it's not so expensive. I also want to upgrade the Neutralize. I want to upgrade the After Image. What's the biggest deal? I think Wallet Planes as well, because then we can hold on to two attacks or multiple attacks to make sure that Phantasmal Killer is more spicy. So we're going to upgrade all these things. That's the goal. I should have done after match first because I'm frail. I didn't think that through. I did not think that through. <laughs> wow. I did not think that through at all. What a great start. I want to keep one of these. Mashable stab. Where's all these zero cost? Damn. 
Nick Bisley, welcome, man. Good evening. Let's me lose HP, do 12 damage. Is this going to be the Mashable Stab deck? I'm trying to keep it spicy, all right? So this is the Mashable Stab deck. Is it good? Probably not. It is interesting, though. Now, here's the thing. We can go for the Elite, which we probably can manage, but there's also another store and another campfire for another upgrade, which is... We have a lot of upgrades you want to do. But I would love to get relics. I'm going for the upgrade. No. Yeah, we're going this way. One thirty AM here? Yeah, it's, it's all it's all different times all over the world. I'm gonna hope that Phantasm gives me some good attacks here. 10 damage. Sick. Better than nothing. Okay, so as soon as we finish this run, we're gonna hope this is a spicy run, we're gonna make it a good run, and then we're gonna go switch over to MTG. Now, some of you guys have played MTG in your life. Some of you guys may have not played MTG. Either way, I'm gonna be explaining and talking about some of the things I'm gonna be doing while playing MTG. And there's a... a Really good constructed deck that I have. Very excited to share with you guys. Blur? I'm a fan. Blur of After Image? Hell yes. <coughs> Speaking of which, we gotta upgrade the After Image. It's a. It's a black, green, Zoni Menagerie deck with, uh, like, Explorer, Explorer, and, uh, you know, Doom Whisper and all that stuff. I mean, you have to see it. It's an Explorer Menagerie Zoni deck. Absolutely gorgeous. This fight, by the way. You're from Turkey, not from the Food Turkey? Oh, we took damage. Oh, no. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna hold the other strike. And go for the big kaplow. The big kaplow. Bam, bam, bam. Phantasma's doing work. Lexip Blade Dance. Blade Dance is pretty nice with Phantasma Killer, right? But I think the Lexip is just uh, powerful. We do need more damage, though. But I don't know if Blade Dance is the answer. Now, Fire Potion against this slime boss? Fantastic. Let's upgrade the after image, and then we gotta upgrade. Oh man, we're not really getting that much offense. I could remove the strike and make it so that I take no damage and match for stab is our damage. Okay, well, we'll remove a strike. Worst case scenario, we take too much damage, match for stab becomes bad. But best case scenario, we don't take much damage, match for stab is a. We keep cycling into it, and it's just a beast. This is real. This is real. Psych. Pause. Sorry, guys, for watching that video. Uh, welcome. I know you guys think you're hanging in there. Do it. You guys, everybody is so confused by these videos. Oh, wait a second. I didn't consider that damage. I did not have to strike there. Everybody's so confused by these videos that I am going to have a blast later today filming fake videos. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to do a whole stream that's a video. And at the end of the stream, I'm gonna like, okay, thank you guys for watching that video. And the one person that's left watching the stream or the video is gonna have their mind blown. And no one's gonna believe them because I'm gonna delete the VOD. And everybody's gonna think that viewer is crazy. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, we got Bane, Silver Steel, Reflex. We take the reflex because we're going to get the hovering kite. Is this the moment we take reflex and get hovering kite? Remember we talked about this? Who takes reflex in hopes of hovering kite? Nobody. But maybe I should. Maybe I should. 
I mean, Surface Steel is not bad for damage, right? Like, with Phantasmal Killer, this could be insane. It takes my whole hand from whatever it is, discard it, and Phantasmal Killer makes it upgraded. In fact, we're going to upgrade that, although Wally Plants is really good. Never mind. But this is actually really cool. Phantasmal, Surface Steel, cards I would never take. We're taking them. I probably should have held on to it because I'm going to get Phantasmal. Oh, well. Hurry kite run knife. <laughs> I wish I could predict it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block, 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 block. All right, that's not that good of block, whatever. Strong still now. Oh, Snyster. That brings him down to. A good amount, right? Storm Steel now, and then we have the most poggers split. Oh my poggers. Well, let's go. It's working beautifully, boys. Now, the question is, we can do Fire Pond and just end it right here, right now. Or the split is so good, we're probably going to win. Save that pot. There's a chance we don't win, actually, because that... She, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't like where this is going. Okay, if I take damage, it's whatever. I'm going to heal up anyways, so we're still okay, but... Part of me is feeling like firepotting now. But that, that would be me. That's if I'm panicking. I'm not panicking just yet. I'm not panicking yet. Storm is still waiting room right now. I'm not panicking. Okay. Save the potion. Beautiful. Thousand cuts burst double kicker. Okay, so a thousand cuts helps our lack of AoE problem. So it takes the shivs and stuff that we're doing with after image and you know, potentially we're probably gonna be going shivs anyways because of after image and cheap cards. And it turns that into AoE damage. And there's doppelganger, there's bursts. Now the doppelganger and Phantasmal together would be an interesting combo, but in practice, thousand cuts being played is just better. Because are we just is AoE a little bit? And it could take something that we're already doing and give something else. Now bursts. Could be interesting with like burst phantasmal, but that's it could be burst blur, burst lex. The burst is very good, very versatile. I'll do a thousand cuts. Flag star, calling bell, ori. Okay, so here's the thing. We have no relics now. We can take curses. I'm not too confident about that. I don't. I kind of rather do ori because we have after image, and we. Take Tactician. I should have looked at all the cards first, my bad. Okay, I take Escape Plan. I like the block, but I also like the draw, because I'm going to go for cheap stuff, potentially another blur, and then take Prepare to help me get the Tactician going. And this could work out. We have Lantern. Tactician is a thing now with Prepared. I don't know what to say. We'll see what happens. Come on, you guys have to. This run has to last a little bit longer, guys. This has to be a good one. It's supposed to be the chosen run. Man, this is actually kind of awkward. This fight might kill me right here. She 
just turn the air off. I gotta put the air back on. The air has been turned off. Ooh, fantastic. Oh my god, look at Masterful Stab. What? It keeps going up? That's absurd. Wait, I should have not done prepared at all, because the Instructor would have knocked one of them down. It's okay. It's okay. This is fine. Actually, this, this is intended. What am I talking about? Phantasmal Killer, we hold on to Storm of Steel for this turn when all the juicy stuff happens. That was totally intended. Totally intended. Um. Damn. And I was thinking, I, I could have maybe knocked the guy who was doing damage, or weakened the guy who was doing damage to me. I didn't really think that through. I'm gonna use Firefly here, guys. Feels bad. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good name for it. Master Fuck Stab. I was too shy to say it. Why am I shy to say that? Master Fuck Stab. Fuck the stat. Skewer Distraction. Distraction technically, you know, it helps us uh, with our low energy, but then it becomes a skill that is no longer zero. It's only zero for that turn, right? Deflect is something that helps, though. Skewer and Phantasmal Killer is amazing. So we do Phantasmal Killer, we do Skewer. This becomes 60 damage for three mana. But I think Deflect is better. Maybe not. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure at this point. Is there a shop? Right, remove a strike. put the air on it's hot as balls and it's not because it's not because uh my deck is having terrible problems but it's because it's genuinely hot right now in my house one sec What a turn. What a turn. Piercing is okay. You know what would be really nice? Energy. It's a crazy concept, right? Having energy. I mean, who would want energy? It's blasphemous. What's up, Mr. Cole? I gotta upgrade that thousand cuts. Upgrade a thousand cuts would do a lot more in this fight. You know, we're looking forward to a Phantasmal Killer. These are words you never heard come out of anybody's mouth. Boy, I can't wait to get Phantasmal Killer. Now, I would hold on Smashable Stab, but it's gonna become more expensive after this turn. So, therefore, 
We won't do anything with it, and we're hoping that Phantasma Killer Storm of Steel is going to be clutch enough to win this fight for me. And this Agony as well, maybe? Yes. This is the stuff we're asking about. Endless Agony. I might be piercing well just to make my life a little bit easier. I didn't do the math on whether or not that one extra ship would do more for me. Perhaps it... Oh, this is sick. We actually did it. Oh, sick. Okay. Because you know that works. Oh man. I gotta do Phantasmal here. And we gotta draw into a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful attack right now. Big, beautiful attack. Big, beautiful attack. Yes. We're doing it. Cloak and Dagger Plus. We're doing it. Okay, let's upgrade the Thousand Cuts. That needs to be upgraded. We need to upgrade the Tactician. The... the... Honestly, I feel like Relics are going to be really impactful for me. And if we're going to be getting prepared, upgraded... Oh, whoa, I robbed you of your kunai. I'm sorry, buddy, but thank you, you damn weasel. Let's do this to manage the curse. We just got kunai. I'm a bully. But bowling has never paid off so well. And why not? Get some kunai going. One... Two, three, one, two. A thousand cuts. It's too expensive. It's too expensive, I would say. Unfortunately. Hmm. I should take damage, right? Just so I can get this out. Oh, that's gonna hurt real bad. We need energy so bad. Okay. But we have Phantasmal. What is it gonna give us? That's not bad. Okay, we'll do a thousand cuts now. Predator, Mashable Stab. Alright, so by doing Hold On to Predator, we win next turn. Cool. Interesting deck. And the second again, I mean, for Kunai, you know what? I'll take it. draw. Piercing here is probably better for saving life, right? Ah, this is fine. Because you find the most difficult high ascension, I think silence is the most difficult high ascension. Believe it or not, I believe silence is the most difficult. But it's probably different from person to person. I wish I could hold on to that storm steel. thousand cuts even though it's probably not the play go vulnerable now <laughs> man
Bring out the rest. Okay. Not bad. Survivor. Phantasmal. Here's my plan is to hold on to the Storm Steel for next turn. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. So we have this nice blur to allow me to have a nice Storm Steel next turn when Phantasmal is up. So the deck works well on turns. It just struggles in other turns, but... Is it... Do we want to do Storm Steel naked or do we want to do Predator here? Hmm. Do blur again. Maintain all that. Beautiful. Footwork. Ah, footwork's very good, but then there's deflect, which is pretty good in our deck. Like deflect gives me thousand cuts, gives me after image, it gives me block with the kunai. Also, slice also helps me get kunai, right? But I think footwork is. I don't know how I said that sounding weird, but footwork is probably better. Ooh, neutralize again. I might dodge and roll. I might. Dash? Do we like the dash? Ah, do I mind the dash? It's expensive. Alright, neutralize. Oh, wait. What was the other neutralize? Oh, shit. That would have been sick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Ooh, another dexterity pot. I feel like I need it for this fight. Flying knee for energy? Yes. I actually want the flying knee. Let's rest. I can't upgrade right now. We're in a dire situation. Dozen cuts early is nice. I'm gonna do both dexterity pots. This is just... Let's make her to break it right here. Pog champ. Pog champ. It's not that Pog champ. I thought it was more Pog champ, but it's not. Actually, not that Pog champ. Should have held on to Storm Steel, but I could have had more block there. I fucked up. Anyways, um, Flying's gonna help a little bit. I like that. Flying's gonna be really nice. Phantasmal turn. Blur is nice, but Predator is really nice as well. I think I do Phantasmal hold on to Storm. And then we do Predator leading into Phantasmal. Ah. We can't because we take we take damage. Whatever, we take damage is fine. I don't, I don't necessarily want to take damage though. Because it makes Master Stab even worse. Does that matter if Master Stab is worse versus what potentially I could do right now with Phantasmal Storm? I could always hold on to both of these and do it again next turn, right? But we're getting Predator next turn. We could also wait for Flying Knee. I think Phantasm is better. Like, so if we take two damage, right? It makes... It makes the, um... Master stuff even worse, but it's a pretty big swing in terms of... Damage, I would say. I do want to play the Blur. <laughs> I 
Unbelievable, man. Still, we're still struggling. Flying needs to be really nice. Let's hold on to this. Almost, almost through it. Once we get past this hump right here, we, we win. This needs to be the turn right here. This is the turn right here, boys. This is it. Take a look at the turn of glory. I should have got dexterity first. Whoopsies. This is it, boys. One, two, three. That guy's gonna stay alive. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, that's it. That's the winning turn. We got through the worst of it. Phantasmal Storm for next turn, or I can just do it now. I can hold on to it, or just do it now. Because next turn he's probably be doing a big attack, right? Well, I want to get Blur. We'll do this. The ships are really not that good for Phantasmal anyways. Oh god. Oh god. Do weaken. So it's a weaken versus like 41 block versus a weaken and 25 block. Now we're popping off. I mean, he's still scaling like I am, but... Phantasmal's gonna be the clincher, huh? That's the clincher censure. We don't have blur here, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, we don't have blur here. And it's all that block's gone. Storm of Steel? Storm of Steel? Eh, a lot of problems here, actually. Yep. Could have held on to a. Uh... Could have held to Storm of Steel because I had Predator, but. Oh, my God, what a long run. Okay, give me an energy relic, please. Bullet time could help me. Also, Ray form. Well, pretty well, I, I prefer it for multi hitters and for AoE, and I could have done it there in an AoE situation because there was multiple attacks, so Whale was better. But at that point, I had so much dexterity that it was like, looked like Whale wasn't better. I still think Whale is good for AoE situations when I don't have that much dexterity, and I think Whale is still good for multi-hits. So that's why I take Whale. So I was going to say that we can take Rayform and negate it with Kunai, right? But still have to like go against it every single turn. And I'm not reliably getting Kunai every turn. And both of them could be interesting. 
but also not that much. <laughs> it means less black. I know exactly. So it's like I could take corpse explosion for Dono and Deca. That's true. There's two out of three. Two out of three. Of the bosses. Like there's two out of three chances that it's gonna be Dono and Deca. I don't think I need it. No, no, no. I'm I think bullet time may, may help with the card draw, but honestly, no, sorry, I mean energy, but I don't even think that's going to be good either. I think I might skip. I'll, I'll take Corpse for the Denwin Deco. Hovering Kite. It is prophesized. This has to be the run. I didn't want it to be, but it has to be. The only problem is, I don't have reflex. Therefore, kills Storm of Steel. <sighs> kills my turns. It's awful. To be honest, it's awful. What do we Pandora's box then? Hope for something spicy. But even then, a lot of these defense are the only defense I have, aside from, like, I have Blur, Blur, Cloak and Dagger, Reflect, Leg Sweep, Survivor. Damn. I guess I'll do Lizard Tail. I can go for all in with the uh, Pandora's box or I can do Lizard Tail. Lizard Tail is. I'm gonna be really safe, guys. I'm doing Lizard Tail. Awaken one. Okay. Eh. This is never getting easier. My deck does not really function that well with three energy. Hope Explosion is pretty sick for this fight though. Okay, gonna call him on kite run. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been. Step so bad here, but <sighs> gotta kill that guy in the middle. If I kill the guy in the middle, they all die. Whew. All right. Oh, infinite blades is so good. I know it's not good for awakened one, but it's so necessary for my deck. Another backstab. I mean, I'm curious. Slice. I'm curious. Footwork. Eh. So footwork for awakened one is awkward. I think Blade Dance is pretty good too if I upgrade it. Mm. Upgrade Blade Dance is dexterity the moment I play it. And with After Image, it's 3 block. And 6 damage, AoE, 1000 cuts. I think Blade Dance could be okay. I think Slice is not bad either. We don't have card draw to justify Slice. Like, I don't know. Blade Dance also feels kind of weird. We'll go for it. Another backstab. Okay. I'm not too confident just yet with this deck. Oh, I didn't, I didn't have a backstab at all to begin with? Oh, okay then. I like flying knee here. I also like predator. Forty card deck incoming. 
My decks are always big, yes. I gotta get rid of these enemies I need, so they're really bad against 30 boy. And this agony is terrible against this guy. Perfect explosion is not bad. What, why did I do infinite blades? That's not what you want to play against this guy. Rip. Okay. Okay, okay. Two mistakes, three mistakes, four mistakes. Plus, yes. We got to up your tactician now. Oh my god, this guy. Guys, you know how much this guy sucks? This guy is the bane of my existence. And I got shame on top of it. Whippy. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. That shame was killer. Should not have done prepare there. Oof. Big woofs. Big oof. I should have moved shame. I forgot that I had it, man. I think maybe we do this. <sighs> This is probably where it all ends, boys. I think I want to do Phantasma because I have Predator out and about. And I just go for the YOLO. But I also want to block. There's really no win winning situation with this guy. So Phantasma would have been sick here. Wouldn't have been lethal, though. We have Lizard Tail. That's gonna have to come into play. It's gotta be Lizard Tail, I suppose. We could do like Survivor Blur, right? It's 21 block, 25 block. Or I could do Storm Steel and take the Lizard Tail and say, you know what, Lizard Tail, save me. Just give me one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven block, eleven block. This would probably your tail. This preserves it. At what point do I just say? Like maybe this is the point where I just say, okay, I'm gonna say what it is. As long as I can block the fifteen part. This is fine. Okay. Lizard tail is a thing. Okay. I also didn't take advantage of the vulnerable pipe. Okay, maybe this is the turn. This is the turn. I, I missed dexterity again, but like, damn. I have three energy, well, I can't, it's hard for me to. Oof. This is the turn? I don't know. Bad, right? Do you want to leg sweep? No. Let's 
gonna kill us, isn't it? I'll probably play this fight wrong. Oh my god. That wasn't a boss? Take play dance. Oh my god, no! Act 3, stop it! Act 3, stop it! Act 3, please! I manage. Smart play. I don't think it was a smart play, but I can't do this. It's too much. It's too much. The weekend versus. I it's dead. I'm dead. If I could preserve the Lizard Tail, maybe. I can't do it, guys. Uh, I can't do it. If I could have preserved the Lizard Tail, maybe. I don't know. That, that was a hard fight. Both of those fights are so hard. Up three energy. I have five relics. I like nothing. Damn. That was like the. Poverty run. That was poverty run right there. Alright, guys. Well, that was it for Slay Spire. Five relics, three energy. <laughs> Pretty pitiful, actually. Pretty pitiful. Um, how come so few relics? Uh, because I I went for upgrades instead of an elite in Act 1, which I regret. And then in Act 2, I had three energy, so I was avoiding the elites there as well. And then Act 3 was Act 3. It was really Act 1 where I avoided the Relic, and then, yeah, some bad things happened. It was just, it was a rough one.